This is the final touch. You ever wondered what Kylie Jenner eats the gateway kick in? Yes or no? I'm actually enjoying this. 2020 is a weird year we're living in. TikTok is taking over. Oh, and a bunch of those TikTok videos are food videos. Well, as I was trying to say today, I'm about to show you the weirdest TikTok cooking life hacks. Okay, I've seen a bunch of them. Some of them work, some of them don't really work. I'm gonna put it to the test and see if TikTok cooking life hacks really work or not. Let's check it out in this video and hopefully I can grab my camera right now. Oh my God. All right, I guess I'm gonna go buy all the supplies I need for this video and I will catch you back at home. I bought every single thing I need for today's TikTok cooking hacks. And before we start, I need to smash like part on this video in order to get all these TikTok cooking hacks to work. And you guys seem to enjoy part where I already did a bunch of cooking life hacks. Make sure to go check this one out. For right now, let's watch the first TikTok cooking hack of the day and see if it's gonna work with us or not. Let's watch it. looks like a duck kebab in the morning so as you guys can see chocolate chip cookie dough the exact same one they had in the tiktok also got a bunch of pieces pieces not my favorite chocolate though but what my favorite is oreo i love oreo these are the, one of the most popular biscuit vibes super excited to have that and on top of it we're gonna have a scoop of ice cream i usually love when we mix cold and hot and this tiktok seems like a banger it looks like a vibes i'm super excited to try it so without further ado let's get the pan and start cooking this one looks like a very simple one there's not a lot of effort or hard work into it all you need to do is get the right ingredients and it should be a piece of cake first of all she starts i put half of her cookie dough right there and then flatten it bam Hopefully I'll be able to do it. Yep, it's working. Here we go. Before you ask me and start roasting me in comments, yes, I washed my hands about four times before I started doing this. Or we're gonna run out of cookie dough and I need to run to the store and buy a new one. So let's see if we need one whole cookie dough or two. It wasn't really clear in the video, but I'm here to make it clear. You know, this is why I'm doing these TikTok life hacks to see what exactly go down in that TikTok. But here I spread the cookie dough now it's time to put the Reese's Pieces exactly the way she did it. She covered the whole pan with half Reese's Pieces and half Oreos, so I'm gonna be doing exactly the same thing. Okay, now it's time to add the Oreo vibe. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Reese's Pieces. We need nine Oreos in that. So that's how it's looking. I have more Reese's Pieces than Oreos, so yeet. Put that right here. And now they're equal. I have the same amount of Reese's Pieces as Oreos and the cookie dough at the bottom. All we have to do right now is the last step, slap the, the rest of the cookie dough on top of this. In the meantime, I'm gonna turn the oven at 350 degrees. I definitely, definitely, definitely needed two of those, not one, because one won't do it. I don't think one is gonna do it. So that's what I have right now. The whole cookie dough is done. I need to run to the store, buy another cookie dough. See these TikToks? I hate how she specified that we needed two. It's all good, let's go to the store. Oh, and I'm back. All right, I got this. And now you guys know that you need two, not only one. And now we spread this cookie dough again. This is what we have. Everything is inside of this. We're gonna slap it in the oven, just right here in the middle rack. I'm gonna wait about 10 to 15 minutes and we will be right back as soon as it's done. Holy moly, this is looking super nice. I'm so excited to try it. Whole house right now smells like cookies and chocolate. This is the vanilla ice cream I'm about to put on the top. This is definitely not an ice cream scooper, but you know, I'm not rich like that to have an ice cream scooper. Oh my God. Now, come on, I've created that. Thank you to TikTok. Now I have a banging dessert. Look at this. That's called the lava cookie ice cream vibes that I'm about to dig in. The first bite literally has every single thing on it. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Mm, mm, mm. The fact that the chocolate melted and the ice cream is melting right now currently in my dessert. This is absolutely delicious. Look at the Oreo. I can literally take a piece of it with the ice cream. I'm shocked that I actually made this. This is so tasty. This is so good. Might be the best dessert I've ever made in my life. Thank you to that TikTok. You guys will be able to do the same thing back at home. But for the first TikTok of the day, this is a success. It's a big success, actually, not just a success. But right now, it's time to see what TikTok number two is all about. So let's roll it and watch it together.
Hack number two might be by far one of my favorite ever because it involves french fries and you know <laughs> my middle name is french fry all you need is these two sticks and some mcdonald's fries the best fries in the market Bread some mcdonald's fries right here aim for the middle the, the smaller the french fry the better all right i decided to make them stronger and so two sticks not just only one because the mcdonald's french fries are very fragile what they did is they put ketchup i'm putting some sriracha instead because sriracha is more of a vibe slowly just like that a little more and now we have to spread it. This is gonna be a banger. Go a little cheese. Put this in the oven for about five minutes. It's not the best. It doesn't look exactly like the way I pictured it in that TikTok, but I'm gonna show you guys and you can be the judge of it. Cheese melted, the french fries got that. I'm gonna spread this sauce, the exact same sauce they had right on top. This is the final touch. Add some pepper -y. Here's the first bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did not expect that, guys. Look how aligned the fresh fries are. It's definitely a success. I enjoyed that. This is good. This was actually really good. Making it was so easy and so fast. All I had to do is go to McDonald's, put the fries, stick it in the stick, some sriracha, cheese, some sauce. On to another success. And now it's time to step it up a little bit and do something a little harder. So let's see what TikTok number three is all about. If this TikTok hack is about to work, I'm about to lose it because this is one of the more harder one. Definitely gonna be the most tasty one because it's some potato pizza bag. Or eat this potatoes, bake them, put the pepperoni, put the pizza sauce, and then bake them again, and bam, potato pizza bag. Never heard of. Let's see if this TikTok is gonna work or not. I'm just scared with these potatoes to cut the whole entire thing because I need to make sure that pepperoni slice is gonna fit in between every single. Oh. Okay, I need to cut slowly but without cutting my fingers. Okay, now I think I got the hang of it. Cut the potato perfectly. Look at this, I'm super excited. Don't forget to spray it with some oils. 10 to 15 minutes and we'll be right back. All right guys, I started putting the pepperonis inside my potatoes. As you guys can see, let me show you this potato. Done and ready. Oh, and it's super, super hot. So I'm putting the pepperoni slices in between the cuts that we did earlier. The pizza sauce on top. Here we go. I don't know why I put it in my left hand. I'm a right hand. Nicely and smooth. Cheese on top. Here we go. You can see the steam coming out. I need to put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes. Every single thing is looking really nice. I'm going to take a bite from the middle of it. Potatoes, the cheese, and the pepperoni. Mmm. Okay. Potato is not cooked. The potato needed way more, I think, on the oven. But, uh, definitely a mess, not an easy thing to make or eat. I think I'm gonna pass on this one because it's so messy. It turned out after all this weight, it didn't taste as good as I expected. It's not something that I would try, but it definitely looks really good. Very complicated. I'm gonna move on from this one to the next TikTok life hack. And this one, you guys better take a look at it. TikTok life hacks is one of the easiest that we have to deal with today. All we need is a burger, a bun, french fries, sauce, and enjoy. As you guys seen, TikTok was made in Chick-fil-A, but since I'm in Canada today, resort to our one and only Mickey D's. Also, since we don't have the Chick-fil-A sauce, we have our secret sauce right here. I'm gonna put it right on my side. So I'm smart and I think ahead, so I bought a bun, an empty bun right here from McDonald's. As you guys can see, sauce, he adds some fries, which I have right here and then the chicken and enjoy <laughs> yeah i was just thinking what's different between this and a regular burger that's that there's nothing different it's exactly the same as a regular burger instead he just no lettuce it has only one bun and has fresh fries on the inside what's special in that tiktok to be honest nothing really let's watch the next tiktok cooking life hacks and see if it's gonna be a success or a failure
All right, you guys seen it. Kylie Jenner vibes. Let's see how Kylie Jenner eats her ramen. If it tastes good, if it tastes bad, let's get to cooking ramen. If you ever wondered what Kylie Jenner eats or how to eat like Kylie Jenner, here we go with that TikTok life hack. I got my two ramen packs. Apparently, it needs an egg, garlic, and butter once it cooked. Here we go, ramen number one, ramen number two. Let's put it in there. I think only one ramen fits in there, so I'm gonna wait till this one cooks. All right, it says cook and drain half the water, so I'm draining half the water out right here. Now, for some reason, Miss Kylie likes to add an unbeaten egg in here. This is actually was a boiled egg. All right, here we go. Whoop! Now it's time to add the ramen powder. I don't know how this is gonna taste. I need you guys to see what's going on in there. And I think now it's time to eat it. Drop all the shaman in that bowl so you guys can see what's going on. It's supposed to be good, you know? Kylie would never eat something not good. You know, rich people stay healthy, but right now, I'm not too sure about healthy. Let's try it out. Hmm, very, very interesting. I actually love that. This is tasting really good. I can taste a little bit of the egg, not too much, just a tad of the egg is just giving it a flavor. To judge fairly, this was easy to make, not messy at all, and tastes really good. So you guys know this is a success. I can see now why Kylie Jenner loves eating this. It's super easy to make. I'm gonna enjoy eating that. But guys, after I finish eating this, we have the TikTok life hacks that I'm excited about the most. It's the one I used in my thumbnail. I'm gonna cook the mashed potatoes. Instead of using water, I'm gonna be using a blue Gatorade. See if the mashed potato is gonna change color and it's gonna change the taste. If it's gonna taste like Gatorade, like, so don't go anywhere, guys. Let's get to cook that mashed potatoes with the weirdest beverages I found. I have a banger. This might be from G Hobbs on TikTok's creation, which is me, Dr. Hobbs. First of all, you need water. Instead of water, we're gonna use our Gatorade and see how it's gonna turn out. How much is 20 liters to milliliters? I think it's 200. Bristol blue, guys, as you can see. I'm gonna put it in here. If you follow these steps, you'll be able to make it at home yourself. Make colorful mashed potatoes. Now we need to heat that bad boy. Right here being heated. It's colored blue, I need to add a little bit of milk as they say on the box first of all it smells like Gatorade all right here we go it's still colored blue the moment of truth if this is gonna turn out blue or what's gonna happen I'm gonna pour it all over here Oh my god, I did not expect it to transform that fast. Holy hell. The gateway kick in, yes or no? Is this gonna turn out blue? Oh my god, it's, it's being transformed into this gateway. This is crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Completely blue from the gateway. Oh my god, we actually made it. We actually did it. We actually cooked some blue mashed potatoes. That's never seen before. The color is beautiful. All we have to do right now is taste it. It's mashed potatoes. Oh my god. Wow, I put the whole entire thing in here. Here we go. I needed to try it right here for you guys. Everything is good. Mm. The mashed potatoes were made of butter and herb. They so good. It's so amazing. Mm. I'm actually enjoying this so much. It tastes like Gary. This is a success, guys. Whatever I just did, it's a success. I need to smash like button just for that. I got an idea. I just cooked mashed potato with Gatorade and turned out blue. If you want me to do it with Crash, Monster Energy, a Red Bull, Purple Gatorade, and turn this mashed potato into different colors, make sure to comment down below mashed potatoes. Whenever I'm going to see mashed potatoes in the comments, I know you guys want to see a whole video of me turning the mashed potatoes into different colors. Get my friend to try it. See the vibes. I have a bunch of them displayed on the table. But for this, it's a success. You should go try it at home. Gateway mashed potatoes, a beautiful color right here. And with that being said, guys, it's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed these TikTok life hacks. If you're on a part three, make sure to smash the like button. 5,000 like, and I'll be revealing the most secret cooking life hacks on TikTok. But for now, I am out. I love you. And as always, turn your head into motivators. I will see you in the next video. A peace.